and welcome to United Sports Capital Daily Market Reviews. Today we are going to talk about the situation in the European Union and the United States. The situation in the Eurozone still remains to be very problematic and difficult and very much followed up by the investors. All the statistics and news coming from the countries are not supporting the markets and are not giving them any chance for the growth. Consumer confidence index in Germany is reaching two years low. The situation with the debt in Spain is reaching historical highs. What else we can see is the UK is facing double deep recession and again and again we are starting to discuss Greece and its possible default. Despite all these facts, investors have found some optimism yesterday on the market and they will continue to grow in the green zone. The main idea of that was that the European Central Bank has announced that the European Financial Stability Fund can be granted with the banking license. What does it mean? It means that in a situation that the Eurozone will not be able to handle the financial problems upcoming with Spain and Italy, the printing machine will be turned on and this obviously will help them to fix the financial problems in a smooth manner. All this news also were supporting Euro and it has been strengthening against the dollar. Today in the morning we can see Euro traded on the level of 1.2146, rebounded from its technical support of 1.20. We shall note that this growth is quite sluggish and we shall not expect that this is a right time to open a long positions on the Euro USD pair. Definitely, we expect to see much lower levels on the, this currency pair in the very nearest future. Following up a very good trading session in Eurozone, United States also were opening in the green zone, especially supported by a good quarterly results from companies such as Caterpillar, Boeing and Ford. The only two factors were having a bad influence on the markets yesterday. One of them it was presented by a results on Tuesday, which absolutely spoiled this quarterly results of the companies and yesterday the company has been losing more than 4.7% on shares. The number one factor, it was the statistics which came on the new sales of the houses in America. And accordingly to the main statistics, in June it has been decreased by more than 8.4%. At the final end, Dow Jones at the closing of the trading session has been adding 0.46% and Nasdaq and S&P has lost more than 0.3%. We also shall note that the oil seems to be quite stable and developing in a good way. Yesterday oil has been growing up and today in the morning we can see Brent traded on the level of $104 per barrel and light traded on a level of more than $86 per barrel. Oil, oil has absolutely not paid any attention to the upcoming statistics from states that the reserves of the oil in the United States were increasing last week. Mainly I think it's concerned due to the fact that the European Union has presented its plans on the European Financial Stability Fund. Today we expect to see quite interesting day in the market as again a lot of statistics are coming from the United States and the other companies such as Facebook, Amazon and Stato are going to present its quarterly results. I wish all of you a good trading day.